Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I'm not taking too much damage from it, it's okay. Go again. Yeah, curious to see how much Cecil takes from this. Okay. Yeah, so it's Edge that took a particularly large amount of damage. I mean, if you're like maybe 15 levels lower, this could, these could be some seriously tough battles, but I think we've got to the stage where we can handle this. Right, let's float everyone up. Yeah, that first Viraga comes in very quickly. Now, unfortunately, it's on edge again. The yeah, damage he takes is notably higher. Wow, it might actually take out edge. I'm hoping this leads us to a trial we can actually complete. Okay. The Elixir and Megalix accounts definitely gone up nicely as well. Right, let's go. I don't know if we've come across Elite Trooper before. That's good damage. Yeah, especially when it's strong enough to take out all of these uh, dud enemies, it's a nice quick way to start. Edge again? What the hell, man? But at least he survives a blaze now. Guaranteed. I mean, I guess bombs should be floating, realistically. I just want to see, even though it doesn't look like it's floating. I just want to see. Like, I doubt it's just sitting on the floor, but I think it's still going to take damage. Yeah, it will. Shouldn't really happen, I think, but <laughs> obviously not a big deal. We got more of those guys. No random encounters, it seems, other than these guys, which is, I guess, good. You could probably use smoke to not even have to fight them, probably. If you don't want to. I want to drop an analyze here. 10,000, no weaknesses. Okay. But that's what I mean, because of the stacking nature of Protect, like, there's just not enough time in, in this game for Protect to work in most cases. It's it's only useful if you're a if you're a big time boss and you, the, the battle's gonna take like five, ten minutes.
Wow, 875, that was bad. I mean, he's front row dual wielding. I know she's back row, but that's bad. Takes a lot of damage from Quake, though. Right, nearly there. Just want to see what happens if we use smoke. Can't escape. Okay, fine. It's worth seeing. I don't think anyone on the back row has been hit by it yet. We should just leave this guy. Last time Cecil did good damage on the Bomb King. Yeah, he seems to be pretty consistent with that. So does Sid this time. Nice. Light work. Uh, yeah, if there's three guys protecting it, my guess is that it's probably something good. Ooh. Okay, it's a nice move to start. Yeah, it must be very high level if it's not working for Edge. He doesn't have ribbon, so he's dead. Let's bring out the big guns. Okay, at least we took on something much more serious there. Right. Mm, okay. Got a goblin prince as well, so. Might try and leave it on its own and get a few more steals in again. got off a double hit. Oh shit. Yeah, it always seems to get doubles for some reason. Little bit unfair. But I think every time I get the chance I should probably just steal like three or four X potions just to build them up slowly. I think while everyone else is defending as well, it should be relatively safe. Yeah, so stealing is just, it's really all or nothing. <laughs> you can't steal at all, basically, or you just steal for fun. Yeah, it seems to work almost every time. So I'm just going to steal one more. I'm not going to spend ten minutes here. Done. Right, last one. Uh... You can see the mech's potion slowly increasing. I'm sure they're going to come in handy eventually. Can I get away with just doing this? No. <laughs> it's worth a shot. This guy again. I'm still going to try to steal. He might have something unique and good. Nice.
I'll just do some dry ethers for her. I mean, we need her magic. Okay. What have we got? Asura's Rod. Ooh. Wait. Ah, it's for someone else. Rod immersed in holy power. That's interesting. Fair enough. Let's just discard this cursed ring in case I equip it by accident. Right. Right, back here again. There's even an inn this time. That's so weird. Yeah, I mean, I've got 2.5 million gil nearly. I'm rolling. Okay. I've not seen you around here. Are you local? Same, they all say the same thing. Oh, okay. This is the village of the moon. I guess I can buy myself some more Fumas if we're in a battle situation where it could be useful. Okay. Age of Shield, Luminous Robe, Gold Hairpin. Oh, wait. Hairpin resistant to lightning. Again, the <laughs> gold hairpin for me is like... Um, half MP cost. It doesn't mention that it's half MP cost. Maybe that's also an ability it has, I don't know. But ribbon's just too strong. But I would... Oh wait, sorry. Wait, I have an extra ribbon now? When did I get that? Ribbon 1, Ribbon 2, Ribbon 3. When did I get the 4th? Huh? I totally forgot about that. Wow, must have missed it. <laughs> yeah, so we don't really need the gold hairpin right now. I think. I will test it out at one point to see if it does um, lower MP cost. But obviously losing ribbon is a, is a big deal. I'd rather not. Let's see what we can buy from here. So there's another place to buy dry ethers and stuff. Yeah, I'll always up my stock. Alright, I think we're good. Anything else here? Again, it's that age-old question of how do we get out of here. Does this mean that I can just get back out this way? Oh. Right, let's see whose trial this one is. Right. Hmm. A paladin? Who's there? If you are a true paladin, you may pass. Are you a true paladin? You must prove yourself. I'll be waiting for you, paladin. Okay, here we go. So we've got Cecil's one. That's good. 
Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yes? All of my chocobos have run off and haven't returned. I have to stay here, so I can't go looking for them. Would you mind searching for my chocobos? Not a problem. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is uh, his worst fears. <laughs> he seems pretty chill, regardless. I mean, if chocobos are part of his worst fears, I guess in Final Fantasy V, they went the opposite route and they made the protagonist have like a chocobo as a best friend. They, does she say something every time? Okay. No, okay. Hopefully this shouldn't be too hard. love these chocobo colours. Come on, man. I'm obviously mashing X while I do this. I think that's one. So one hiding in a pot. There's one being cooked. Kentucky Fried Chocobo. I mean, are we done? She just keeps saying the same thing, right? Okay, just keep going. See if I can. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's ask him. Excuse me, but will you listen to what my partner has to say? I don't think we should. Come on, there's nothing to lose. What is it? The thing is... My wife is pregnant. The baby should be coming soon, but I can't leave my post. I can imagine how worried you must be about your wife. Do you think you could take over for a little while? I, I can't ask that. What if... Once he puts on your armor, no one will know who it is. Anyone can do it, as long as they follow the guard's rule of conduct. Don't move. Don't speak. Pretty easy to remember and do, don't you think? All right. Hurry. Go to your wife. Thank you so much. I owe you one. Please make sure no one finds out about this. I can't lose my job once my child is born. Don't worry about it. Now go. Th thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Don't move, don't speak. I'm going to take that literally and literally not move and not try to interact with anyone. Would be funny if like the controller had a microphone back in the day and it could pick it up. I'm literally just going to wait here for a sec. Okay, here we go. I waited and that happened. Hmm. So every now and then, um Okay, here we go. So if you wait long enough, something happens and then you can intervene, I guess. Or can you? Hey, you better not be slacking off. You lot are good for nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I couldn't intervene, I guess. I wanted to see if I could. So I guess it really is a test of whether you follow the rules or not. I mean, especially when there were three bombs, I was like, shit, I've got to go. Again, I mean, it's unique. It's something different. They could have literally just thrown you into a dungeon for the entire thing and had like 25 different rooms all interconnected with random bosses scattered in. I mean, that's not necessarily the worst thing, but I think I prefer something with a little more thought put into it like this. But this time I've been standing for quite a while and nothing's happened. 
So I'm going to try and move in again, or is this like a double test now? That like, you've been scolded once, nothing's happening. Do you have the patience? I'm going to give it another 30 seconds from this point. Okay. I wait another 30 seconds and nothing's happened, so this time I think they want you to trigger something off, so let's do it. Wow, he's doing his job well. Um, I can't get out from this side. Can't get out from this side. But I can go to here. All those chests. Haha, <laughs> loot, loot. I made a bundle today. I was born to be a burglar. Oh, so they weren't chasing him, what, they were his, like, band of monsters that he uses to burgle places? Uh-oh, I didn't know anyone else was here. Oh well, what's it to you anyway? You'll keep quiet, right? No. We won't. Okay, Mr. Bandit. He ambushed us, come on, man, what the no freaking way. Let's try and steal from the bandit. That'd be funny. But It's always when you most need it. Just going to take this guy out. There you go. I'll teach you. And then we just steal all of his loot, right? That's how it goes. Surely. Oh man. Okay, fine. <laughs> so much for that. Hmm. Hey, you! Haha, <laughs> this is fun! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, you! Haha, <laughs> this is fun! Yeah, yeah! Ow, stop it! Shut up! Take this! Okay, we've got to go help there as well. What's going on? Yipes! Leave him alone. Why are you doing this? Um, I don't know. How would you feel if others were doing that to you? Stop that right now. What has he done to deserve this? Nothing. It's not fair to gang up on someone. You should fight one on one. If you have enough courage. That is. Courage? Th thank you. I hope I become as courageous as you. There we go. Cecil saves the day again. Th thank you. I hope I become as courageous as you. Okay. Noble Cecil doing his thing. Being the paladin. But I do wonder what level of boss battle is going to wait at the end of this. Hmm. This theme is so damn good. This is the Megalixir that was so dear to you. I'll put it here. If you have this with you in heaven, I won't have to worry about you. Sleep well. Just wanted to enjoy that theme for a few seconds. 
I went to see if I could interact with this. To be honest, I didn't want to steal their Megalix. I didn't care that much. I just went to see if, in getting past that, I could interact with this tomb, I guess. But no. Sorry, kind of stole your Megalix. Show me you are worthy of being a paladin. First, I shall grant you a weapon. Take what is in the box. Obtained Excalibur. Okay, we know all about that. Now you must show me what you can do. So, again, I don't know if it's the same story um, as before, where like you're not supposed to attack and like kill people as a paladin, or like you're not supposed to use force and the dark side and all that kind of stuff. So, I think originally I'm going to try not to attack him with force. Um, I can change to Excalibur. And just attack and see what happens. And if I get completely wrecked, then I will uh, come back. I think I should put a save state in, if anything, to save me time in case this goes wrong. Okay, we're going to attack with the Excalibur to see what happens. Hmm. Uh, again, not sure. Like, show me you're worthy of being a paladin. Does that mean, like, we have to defeat Odin without having Cecil attack at all? I'm not sure if that's what they're after. If we just get Zantetsuken, then... Surprised we survived it, to be fair. Either that, or the whole idea of him giving us an Excalibur is that he's trying to trick us and not... But it's the fact that it's the whole, like, being a paladin, that's what makes it... Um, that's what makes it interesting. Otherwise, I just wouldn't use the Excalibur and I'd just attack. But I don't know if there's, like, an element of you're not supposed to... Um, you're not supposed to use force and blah blah blah, so I don't really know what they're going for exactly. Because I mean the Excalibur didn't do one damage, it still did damage, so I wasn't really sure. I'm just not going to attack with him and see what happens. Because I mean he's not holding back, so... I don't see why I should. Yeah, I do think Kuraja, the, they have done it. I think Kuraja's mechanics are generally set up in a way that it heals depending on how much damage you've received, so I think it that's why it does better in those situations. Maybe I should summon... I don't know if I can use this in any other context, so... These are like one-off chances to see these guys. Nice. Wow, that was a monster damage. Yeah, I should have just gone in attacking right from the start, but again, I, I just wasn't sure. Maybe I get lucky and Asura revives everybody. So this is a little bit unfair again, like in terms of the premise, I just, I don't know how I'm supposed to know how to tackle it. It's kind of a, it's almost like it tricks you, which is a bit shit. So I will go all out next time. This is clearly a difficult boss. And he's hitting you with an attack that does like 4,000 damage. So I'll load my save state and I'll just... I'll batter this guy. So we've got the right one.
I'm going to try and heal up for now, then I'll try and get some slow on him and stuff. Yeah, this isn't going to be enough to survive. Uh... And try and give at least one person a chance of survival. Yeah. Oh, he doubled it? Yeah, screw you. Yeah, party's fallen, but we're going to reload this save state. Okay, so I'm not going to equip the Excalibur. I'm just going to go hard and attack this guy. Because I, I kind of feel a bit betrayed by the <laughs> by the premise. He's just an asshole. I think slow is a good call because obviously it means less Zantetsuken is taken. Bit of a luck element depending on who dies um, in this situation, but... Ooh. Yeah, gonna keep firing off the, the big moves here. Big damage. Yeah, the slow is definitely helping here. So I think we can blitz him out. Depending on Zantetsuken RNG. If we get unlucky, then fair. Um... Arise. Once he lifts the sword up, I should have enough time to get a heal on to uh, Cecil as well. Okay. So I'm going to wait for the Zantesukan now. Hopefully we survive. Oof. Wow, that was some luck. Sheesh. Now hopefully we can finish it off before the next one. There you go. So I don't know what he's going to say now because I guess the Excalibur thing was just a trick. Summon book. Hello. Okay. Nice. The power of light. Paladin, you are worthy. It's over. Right. There we go. Good stuff. That's number three. 